Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to Red, White, and Bethune. Hey guys, in this video, I don't know if you can hear in the background, we've got a, if you got the generator running, I don't know if you can hear it, it's, it's pretty loud and everything's not sealed off in here right now, so it's pretty loud, but, oh, there goes Dwight. But um, it's a chilly, misty, kind of nasty day here in Central Florida, so we got the heat running, uh, but the way this system set up right now is all we have is we have a 50 amp plug me and Steven my brother RV Steve travels we're splitting the service with 30 amps each well technically 25 but anyway we wanted to run the heater so basically we had to turn on the generator to get some heat it, it's just kind of drizzly dreary day here in Florida a very unusual Florida day usually we get some sunshine and you know regardless but Anyways, this video we're going to show you something a little different. Um, what I'm doing, I got a project I want to show you, but I'm pretty excited about. But um, just follow us along and check it out and uh, let's let me know what you think. You might be wondering where I am. I'm currently sitting in the under bay of the bus, one of the uh, storage compartments. And behind me is my little project. What we got here is called a bilge pump. It's actually made for a marine application, but basically it's, it's supposed to pull um, vapors from fuel, uh, you know, any kind of smelly, any type of toxic thing that you want to get out of the boat. This bus did not have a vent fan, an exhaust fan, so what we're doing is we're kind of engineering our own little thing here. Is basically we bought this little guy here. We had to, we went to every possible store we could think of to get this piece right here. Um, we ended up having to make something ourselves. So essentially this is a three inch fitting. We, ended up, we went three inch here to a reducer to two inch. And basically we have two inch running all the way up to the bathroom slash shower. Um, I, you know, it's it may not work. <laughs> I, I know it'll work. It may not be as effective as I wanted it to be, but I honestly didn't know what else to do. I didn't really want to go draw, uh, drilling holes in my roof. Um, this is kind of a, we'll take care of two problems at once. Hopefully we'll be able to have an exhaust fan for the bathroom and for the shower area. No, I don't think it's going to work like, a, you know, a regular exhaust fan. But hopefully, you know, it will alleviate some of my, our, you know, our problem we're trying to solve. You know, and a lot of people say, well, why do you even need to do it? But you imagine taking a shower in a vent, you know, in a real small enclosed space. The humidity is going to be unbearable, which is going to bring mold and just nastiness and nasty humid air. So hopefully if we can alleviate that, that would be a win for me. So this is going to be what we're doing. Um, I should uh, take you guys through it and show you, uh, show you what it looks like when it's done and test it out. We actually put the motor on a variable speed switch, so it won't, this thing pumps out some air. So I'm, I'm pretty confident with the reducing of the pipe down to a smaller size, so it's going to have some good airflow. Um, but we did buy a variable speed speed switch, so it's not, you know, you don't have to run it full blast if you don't want to. So uh, just follow us along and see what you guys think. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any better ideas, leave me a comment below or, you know, let me know what you think. And uh... So here's where it comes up out of the floor. As you can see, Steven's moving the wire right now to hook up the 12 volt pump. Basically comes out of the floor there, 90s, 90s, up to the top. And then we have our, our two exhaust vents. The one there. We have the shower one right there. Um, our plan is to paint this, obviously try to make it look as unformed as possible. But that's pretty much what it's like at this point. So pretty much like everything else in this bus, we're gonna paint it gold. So I drove a stake in the ground, put the uh, longest piece on there, gonna paint it up. Here's the, uh, the top piece that goes to the shower and the bathroom. So see if we can get this thing painted up with some gold paint. And here's something else I wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, this side here, like I said before, this is where the pump is. This is gonna be our, um, you know, our utility slash systems bay. Um, this here is a 12.5 kW power tech generator. It is a beast. I mean, you could literally run a house on this thing. Um, you know, when this thing was touring on the road for with the musician, I mean, this this generator was all they had. They, the, 
the bus rarely ever stopped you know this thing ran around the clock you know it powered the bus you know pretty much everything inside you know it wasn't like it's you know a typical rv where you had a you know a, when i bought it it didn't even have a plug-in to plug into shore power so this is pretty much it you know and for you know the remodel we've done it's just kind of overkill at this point you know we just really don't need this amount of power to um you know because we we replaced pretty much everything with leds um we did keep the original air conditioner which is something i'll show you in another video but um like i said we just didn't need we just don't need that power so i would rather have this space you know so what we're going to do is we're selling it you know it's on the market right now um probably going to remove it next week um we're going to replace it with probably an onan quiet diesel probably uh 6,700 at the most that would that allow us a lot more free space in there, um, which for the main reason I'm about to show you why the space is such a premium for this bus. And this is the main reason <laughs> that our space is such a premium in that particular bay. This is our water tank. It's a 125 gallon water tank. Um, water is something to me you don't mess around with. You know, is, I'd rather have more, you know, too much than not enough. So we also have this. We also have an equivalent identical great water tank. So, you know, what you use must go somewhere, so we got to store it. So that's, you know, this is the main reason, well, not the main reason, one of the reasons we're wanting, well, we have to downsize the generator, because I think it's just so massive, and we really just don't need that much. So this is going to be our water tank, and a gray tank, it's identical, I got them a northern tool. Um, like I say, it's just an RV holding tank, or actually it's not even an RV holding tank, it's just a water holding tank. You get RV specific tanks, and you order them. They're super expensive. I basically bought both of these tanks for what one RV tank costs. So, you know, trying to save what we can. You know, we've already put so much into this bus, but we're, uh, this is what we're gonna go with. You know, they will fit, we have put them in, but that other, but the, main, the big generator is gonna have to go until, you know, before we can put them in, secure them, and put them where they're, you know, they need to go. All right guys, so we pretty much have this thing finished up. Um, we wanna show you a small little change we had to make. It does have two mounting holes there that you can uh, screw to the top, which is what we did, but it created a ton of vibration and a lot more noise. So what we did is we ended up taking those out and hooking some straps to it and just kind of supporting it there. And it made a huge difference as far as the vibration and the noise goes. But let me take you up top and show you what we, uh, show you what we ended up with. So here's pretty much the finished product. Um, I do need to fasten it down some way because this thing does move a little bit. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, it's like I'm sure, I'm sure some of you have better ideas. I'm sure there's better ideas out there, better options. But I think this is going to work pretty good for us. You know, it's it's kind of unique. It kind of it stands out, but you know, I think it's definitely going to serve its purpose. Let me show you the shower side. <laughs> Drilled a hole, and like I say, I kind of I need to fasten it to where this side stays in a little better. But all in all, I like it. And like I said in the, earlier, we put it on a variable speed, so you turn the switch on. Like I say, you can also adjust the velocity or the the speed of the pump. So. You know, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. You know, it's, it's, I think I've had probably about 80 bucks in the whole thing between the pump, the switches, the PVC. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, other than that, that's pretty much all the material. It took us, you know, probably a couple hours between everything, painting and everything else. But, like I said, I'm pleased with it. Um, I'm, at, I'm sure there's better options. But for us, I think this is going to work out just fine. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it, maybe seen a new perspective on something. You know, it's a simple thing, but it, it can make a huge difference in the, uh, you know, in this bus and as far as being in it all the time. Um, I believe it's going to work. I believe it's what I also, it's a two-way cap. One goes to the bathroom. One goes to the shower. What I'm going to do just make something which honestly probably just get a pvc cap put it over you know say i'm taking a shower or somebody's using a shower put it over the um the bathroom side to also create more suction we you know we tried some various things uh to try to see what see if we could visually see it pulling the air and it did a good job so i think it's going to be fine um i'd like to hear you guys comments on it i you know hey I'm, I, have, I have thick skin let me know what you think 
you know, it's probably not the most visually, aesthetically pleasing option we could have done, but I really didn't want to drill a hole in my roof. Um, you know, it's just, I don't, I'm not at that level of, you know, expertise in these things. So, you know, for us, I think it's going to work out. You know, I like the variable speed switch, you know, a couple little trig, definitely the mount, not mounting it solid to the bus because it, it created a that little bit of vibration in the floor, which made more noise. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And uh, we'll see, catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>